Here in this video, we are going to create this Google tool in MATLAB. This is basically a unit converter app that we are going to build in App Designer in MATLAB. With this, we will also explore how to effectively use drop down menu in App Designer. So our goal is to build an app that not only converts between the units of length but also allows you to expand its functionality very easily. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first, let's start by setting up an app interface and for that first we'll bring edit field and then we'll take this drop down menu. Then we require one more edit field. So let's have it. And finally, we'll take this button to execute the conversion process. Now we will just resize this as per our requirement. Let's align them. So here we'll write length and here we'll write answer. We'll rename it as convert. And now it's time to configure this drop down menu. So first we'll rename this as unit and different unit of length we want will be So we have 4 unit, kilometer, meter, centimeter, micrometer. If you want to add more, then by clicking this plus, you can have another option. So you can add as much option as you want. Now currently we don't want this, so we'll just remove this. So now here we have final 4 options like kilometer, meter, centimeter and micrometer. All of which will be converting our final answer in meter and we'll get it over here. So what do we want this app to do? We'll enter any length over here, let's say 25 and then we select whether it is kilometer, meter, centimeter or micrometer and then we want to convert this quantity into other unit quantity of length. But to achieve this in step number one, first we'll achieve whatever length we give, it will be converted into meter and represented in this answer box. So we want to start this conversion process when we click this convert button. So we'll right click it, go to callback and add callback function. So now here our first step is to identify what value we have placed over here in this length box. Right? So to do that what we'll do, we'll write a is equal to app.lengthEditField.value, this one. So ultimately whatever value we are writing over here will be equal to A or that will be stored in A. Now in next step what do we want? In next step we want to identify what unit we have selected. Here we have four options, kilometer, meter, centimeter and micrometer, right? So out of these four options we want to identify that which option we have selected. Now we will achieve this using switch case statement. This will allow us to handle different cases efficiently. That might be possible that many of you are not aware with the switch case syntax. Basically the switch case statement is used to execute one or several group of statements based on the value of variable or expression. It provides an alternative to use multiple if else if statements. When we write switch and then we are supposed to write the expression. Then the value of that expression will be evaluated. So first of all we will write switch and what do we want to evaluate? We want to evaluate this box. So we will write name of that box and that is app unit drop down. App unit drop down. Now what do we want to check of this? We want to check the value of this. So we will write app.unit dropdown dot value. Now then <coughs> we'll write case. What are the cases we have for this? We have four case kilometer, meter, centimeter and micrometer. Right? So we'll write case number one. So if kilometer is selected then we want to write b is equal to a into sorry into 1000. 
because B is our final answer and we want our answer in meter. Then we want to display this B in this answer box, right? So this answer box is app dot answer edit field. So now here we'll write app dot answer edit field dot value is equal to B. So here we are assigning value of this box is equal to B. Now in case number two, what if meter is selected? Then again, we'll follow the same process. But when our input is in meter and output is also in meter, then B is directly equal to A. Then we'll go for centimeter. For centimeter, we're supposed to divide A by 100. And then we'll go for micrometer. Then we're supposed to divide A by 10 raised to 6. And now we'll end this. So what will happen when we press the convert button? First, this code will read the value of A. Then it will try to identify what is the unit selected. And then based on unit selected, it will process the calculation and display the result in answer box. Now let's first save this app. So now we can run this thing. But just a minute, before we run this thing, there is one correction, right? Here it is, small app, right? I have by mistake made it capital, so it should be small. Right, this thing you need to be very much careful. Now let's run. Let's say length is one kilometer. Convert, it's one thousand meter, right? Let's say one meter. Let's say one centimeter. Let's say one micrometer, right? So like this, it is converting properly. Now we need to make some modification. But before we jump to that modification, here there is quick question for you. You supposed to tell me what is the purpose of using switch case statement in this unit converter app. Your options are on the screen. Think over it and quickly write the answer in comment section and then we will move ahead. So now we are going to modify this app. And for this we need one more drop down menu. Right. So here what we want to do, so here we will give our input with any of this possible input unit and here we will get output in any of the four unit. So now let's modify the code. So now how we will achieve this? The logic to achieve this is in this process we have converted whatever input given to us in meter. Now in next section of the code, what we'll do, we'll convert that meter into whatever unit we desired in output. So for that, now let's again write switch. Here we want to identify which unit we have selected in our output. So switch, we'll select which box we are talking about. We are talking about this app unit dropdown 2. app dot unit drop down to value. Now we'll select the cases. So we'll quickly copy this and we'll paste over here. Now here B was our final answer and we were displaying it in answer box. But now for this logic we do not display this in answer block. So we'll just comment it. So in this process B is converted to meter. Now what do we'll do? We'll take C as our final answer and we'll convert this B into our desired unit. So here the output of all four case of B is in meter. So now here we'll see if B is in meter and we want C in kilometer, what do we supposed to do? We supposed to divide it by 1000. 
and then we display that C in output. Now here in second case if B is in meter and we want C in meter then directly C is equal to B. Now if B is in meter and C we want in centimeter then we suppose to multiply it by 100 and in final case if B is in meter and we want C in micrometer then we suppose to multiply it by 10 raised to 6 we will update C over here here and here now we will end this now let's run so let's say we have input in kilometer we want output in meter so it's 1000 now if we want in centimeter okay here we have made a mistake we supposed to replace this C by B right now let's run <coughs> let's say kilometer and we want in centimeter so it's hundred thousand centimeter now let's see we have centimeter and we want meter so let's convert at 0 0.01 so this is how you can create a versatile unit conversion app now here whether you are converting length weight or any other unit the same principle or the same logic will be applied just few modification in equation and you can use the same logic so if you have any question regarding this you can ask me in comment section and if you have enjoyed this video do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel for more similar tutorials an important thing stay tuned for the next interesting app in matlab so see you into the next video